Hey guys, it's Graham. What's cracking? A rant. A rant is what's cracking, because that's what I'm cooking up for you. There is a particular genre of story called lit RPG, literary role-playing game. It is inexplicable to me how this genre is as popular as it is to the point where there are plenty of people that make a living writing lit RPG novels, or at least supplement their income therewith. I have tried a bunch of them, and for the most part, it almost seems like it's a staple of the genre that the writing sucks. That they largely miss the point of storytelling. Although there have been a couple that have done well. Most notably, uh, Miles English's In Another World, I Must Defeat the Demon King. That's probably the most competent example of lit RPG storytelling that I've seen. I read that one sometime last summer, I want to say. I did a review at Upstream. But according to uh, John Truby, the accomplished storyteller and screenwriter, a guy who has made a very successful career out of telling good stories, you know, he very simply defines a story as uh, a speaker tells a listener what someone did to get what they wanted and why. Now, generally, as long as you satisfy that requirement, you are technically telling a story and there are plenty of different ways to do it. But I feel like lit RPG focuses way too much on the world building elements of their story, um, on the mechanics of the world, on the magic system, as it were. Um, it would be easy to say that I blame Brandon Sanderson for this because he's the guy that made magic systems very obvious in writing, but he also did it extremely well and in an entertaining way so that it's not a drag to learn how the world works. You know, it, he, he works it in very well with the ongoing story. I would say the two exceptions to that are the last uh, couple of Stormlight Archive novels, which are about this thick in print, and the most recent uh, Mistborn novel, the seventh one, Lost Metal, just because it focused a lot on explaining investiture and how that whole bit worked. And that's after he invented three metal-based magic systems for the world. But he, again, he made them critical to the story to the point where you learned what you needed as you went, and then by the third act, something happens and you realize like, oh crap, what he was telling me about how this works was really important because it affected the plot, it affected the characters. It, there was a, a, a reveal, some sleight of hand and stuff that went on that worked according to the rules that he's, he'd established. That's fine, that's cool, that's very cerebral. It makes this fantasy genre a, an intellectual read. Lit RPG doesn't do that. Role-playing games, you know, the Dungeons & Dragons type games where you, you write up a character sheet and you say that this character has this many points of investiture. You know, we start out with 50 points and I put 10 points into strength and 10 points into charisma and 10 points into speed and, and whatever. Like, you scatter your points into different categories and that defines the physical attributes that your character has. That works for role-playing games. But if you try to write a book try to write a novel that just focuses only on explaining the mechanics of a character, you lost me. And you're not writing a novel, you're wasting time of people who went looking for a novel by dungeon mastering your own uh, campaign, your own game, and then making somebody sit through it. I finished reading one today, I'm not going to say what the title is, I'm not going to say who the author is, I'm not out to start any crap with anybody. But this was hands down the worst lit RPG novel that I've ever read because it wasted hours and hours just describing a character walking around and saying, oh, uh, I did this and I did it for this amount of time and this category of my attributes went up by 58% and so then I did this and I did it even longer and two years went by, like, the entire book was that. Sorry, that was probably loud. I, oh man, like I was screaming in the truck at how bad this was. I freaking hate lit RPG. You, you need to grab a copy of this book here, The Anatomy of Story by John Truby, and learn how to tell a story and how to tell it well. Because 
I feel like too many people don't know that generally, but when you get into this genre specifically, oh, oh boy. Oof, it was bad, and I am angry. But it's all done. I finished the book, I set it aside. I couldn't light it on fire because it was digital. Tomorrow I'm going to start a new book, and it will be better, and it will be much more interesting, and we'll go from there. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I'm going to review... Uh, what are you doing, bro? Sorry, people are trafficking dumbly. Uh, I'm going to review a teen romance novel that I read a couple of years ago that uh, is worth hyping again, but I won't explain why I'm going to save that for tomorrow's video. Uh, thank you for riding home with me. Uh, gave some fodder to the Tism Warriors here who might try to figure out where I live or at least where I drive home. So I'm going to end the video now before you can see where I get even remotely close to my neighborhood. But thanks for watching. Drive safe. See you out there.